Channel 1. Communication switching to Channel 1. All right, here it comes. Be ready. Switch controls to manual override. Countdown is running at five, four, three, two, one. The Mikey Podcast. Yo, welcome back to the one and only award-winning Mikey Podcast. This show is actually, it's not going to be a wild ride through the news, true crime, real life stories, conspiracies, and more today because... It is going to be sort of what I was going to do on Freeloader Friday this past Friday, if it wasn't for the fact that my air conditioner took a total shit in the studio, which is the house, and um, we had it, it gives us like 110 degrees in our house. And then the very next day, this this week couldn't get any worse. Well, this well actually it probably could. I don't want to say that. And I'm going to invite my special guest here uh, onto the show to talk a little bit about what happened this weekend and a whole lot more. But I'll tell you about that person here in just a second. But the very next day, the weekend of the weekend. Um, the power went out. So like it was just thing after thing that happened here at, at the Mikey podcast headquarters. So, but we're here, we're doing the show today and it, hopefully we'll be able to get a show every day this week, Monday, Wednesday, and of course, reloader Friday, but we're doing something a little different today. So Friday was going to be an AMA. Ask Mikey anything. I got a bunch of questions from people online, which we will get to all of those, but also some other special questions from my special guest. Who's going to join me here. Uh, in just a second. But before we invite her onto the show, and no, it is not Larry, I just want to remind you that if you want to support the Mikey Podcast, head on over to MikeyPodcast.com and join the sub club. It's the best way to support the Mikey Podcast and independent media. Can't do it without you guys. So as long as you're joining the sub club, you get access to the videos commercial free and usually get everything earlier before everybody else too. But as long as you guys are doing this, then the show can go on. There's other ways to support the show too at MikeyPodcast.com. Head to the pod shop. You can get some of the merch. You can also just share the show, comment on all the things. And of course, you know, follow me on social media. All the, those are, there's lots of ways to support the show if you can't do it financially, uh, but you could do it. You could do it for free. All right. That's enough of the rambling on. I want to get to the show. I want to get to these questions and hope that this works out because I have a special guest actually in studio with me today. Um, hang on a second. Let me go over here because I want to be prepared for uh, <laughs> I want to play something when I welcome her. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the show. <laughs> My wife, Mandy Muscatello. How are you, babe? Welcome to the show. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, everybody's happy that you're here. Is you, did, ever, did you hear that? Did you hear that? Yeah. Can you hear it? Definitely. All right. Well, so welcome to the show. How are you? How have okay. you been? You got to talk. You can't just shake your I head. Did. I know. I'm good. Yeah. Yeah. I offered her a cup of coffee, by the way, in one of these amazing Mikey Podcast coffee mugs that you can get in the pot shop at MikeyPodcast.com. She said no. Like, what the fuck? I'll never sleep at all. You'll never sleep. What do you mean? It's too late. I'll never sleep at night. Oh, because, oh, yeah, because it's seven o'clock at night. We're actually doing this show. Usually I do the show at like five o'clock, four o'clock in the morning. But she's not going to wake up super early to do the show with me. So we're doing it at seven o'clock at night on a Sunday and it'll be ready for Monday for the sub club members. And then the freeloaders will get it on Tuesday. Well, maybe, maybe I'll release it tomorrow to everybody since it was supposed to be Friday show. There you go. That would Just be to make it free. Idea. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe everybody's going to get it. Maybe whenever you're listening to this <laughs> is when you listen to it. It doesn't really matter what it is. All right. So this past weekend was pretty, we've actually had a lot of stuff going on over the past couple of weeks. It's been, June was a super busy month for us wasn't it you know and then and then towards the end of the month we went to disneyland yep and that's what that's why we didn't have there wasn't a freeloader friday show the other day because or the two fridays ago because we were in disneyland and if you're following me on social media you probably saw some of the pictures and stuff what a great time actually um so we went there for my daughter's performance that was the whole point like that's why we went down there but then we turned it into sort of a family trip and we spent three days there which is an insane amount of days to spend at Disneyland. How, how much? Too much, honestly. How much did we walk? Do you remember? Uh, it was probably. I, I feel like we calculated it. I think it was like close to like it was like fifty seven thousand. Fifty seven thousand steps. Yeah. It was like ten miles a day, mm -hmm. which is just a lot. So I, it, anyway, there was a lot of walking. It was a really good time. It wasn't too hot. We had a lot of fun. Some good, some good foods. Let me ask you, because somebody had actually asked this question. So I'm going to go into the Disneyland stuff first, um, and then we'll get into some of the other things. But I'll ask you this. What is your favorite ride at Disneyland? And when I say Disneyland, I'm talking both Disneyland and California Adventure. It doesn't have to just be the D. It could be both. <laughs> 
So <laughs> what's your favorite ride at the D? No, what's your, which one between both parks, what, what is your favorite ride? So always my favorite ride is the Peter Pan ride. Why? Because I love it. It's just so nostalgic for me. And I just think it's like, I remember there's so many things at Disneyland that I remember being a four-year-old little kid mm -hmm. and experiencing those things for the first time. So the Peter Pan ride for me, when you go in and then you can kind of like see the stars okay. everywhere, I just, that for me has always been kind of magical. But um, then also getting to ride Guardians of the Galaxy with my dad was really fun. Okay. Let's remove all sentimental everything. <laughs> like not because you saw you ride it, rode it with something, because that's why I could say the same thing. My favorite ride was that ride that spun around in circles because I rode it with my daughter and there was fireworks going off behind <laughs> us, which was amazing by the way. But what is just your favorite ride? The Peter Pan ride. That's it. Yeah. That's my favorite ride at Disneyland. <sighs> And I, like, it sucks because it's like, it always has like a 40 minute wait it and does, there's no because... fast pass for that. So it's, a, it's always one of those ones I feel kind of guilty for wanting to go on it and making everybody wait 40 minutes to go on this like three minute ride. It's not that even, it's not even that good of a ride. I like it. I mean, it's nostalgic. I get it, but it's, it's not even, it's like that. There's a couple of rides there at Disneyland, like the Pinocchio ride. That, that can totally, is weird. I can see them redoing or reimagining that one yeah that's what they call it <clears throat> yeah that's, i think they should do like an anna and elsa little thing because it almost looks that kind of like the wood doors with the painting it looks like netherlands and stuff it kind of does yeah. what's that other ride that's super weird uh, it's a kid's ride it's like you go to hell you end up in hell oh mr toad's wild ride yeah mr toad's that's wild like, ride that's to hell. a good one like that's just been there for forever since pretty much the park opened so what it's just it's a it's a fun ride and there's not usually a long wait and it's kind of it's uh what is it Ichabod and Toad or or something like that. I don't know what it is, but you it's weird because you end up in hell. <laughs> like you're putting little kids in there and they go like they like they go to hell. Yeah. Hey, go to hell, kids. <laughs> Let's go on this ride and go to hell. You go to hell. All well, right. It's it's a classic for sure. And there I think there's some rides there that are classics and, and they need to stay the way that they are and like that's one that it's not taking up that much space it doesn't break down often it's it's a good it's an easy ride i don't know it's i <laughs> think that's right it's fucking boring as hell i think my favorite ride at the park between both parks is probably going to be guardians of the galaxy that ride is amazing it's a good time every even though my daughter freaked out this like she it's had total so fucking weird. meltdown which is weird because she's been on it a few times and I think uh, she was just exhausted. She had such a long weekend. Like she had a lot going on. And we were there Friday, Saturday. This was Sunday. Yeah. And <clears throat> she had been asking Friday, are we going to go on Guardians of the Galaxy? Yeah, she wanted to go Saturday, on Saturday. Are we going to go? Are we going to go? Are we going to go? So finally we got, we did genie passes on Sunday. Sunday. And so we did a, it was filling up really fast for Guardians of the Galaxy. So we ended up getting a, fast pass for like eight ten or something like that so we had to wait and it was just like this build up and she was so excited about it and yeah. then we get in line and she's like losing it yeah it was crazy she uh <laughs> she totally had a meltdown and this is the ride she's been on multiple times and she loves it said it's her favorite ride in the park but she had a total meltdown but she eventually went on it, even though like there was moments in the ride where she was crying <laughs> and losing it and then then she'd be laughing and having a great time and then it was I just a roller coaster the, of emotions just because she's like losing it. You're looking at her I know. like, woo, this is fun. And me looking at her like, breathe, you have to breathe. <laughs> it's exactly how it was too. I wish we could show the picture too, because it, is, it was just hilarious. But then she would like let go of our hands and she'd put her hands up and yeah. then she'd grab our hands again. And it was just like, I was like, I don't know how to feel because I don't know if she's having fun or if she's not having fun. It was. I don't know what her deal was, but that's probably. I think she was just tired. Yeah, I think so too. And, and, Especially because her, well, like I had negotiated with her kind of I was like, okay, like, you know, you like this ride, like I'll buy you a pin, you know, and she was all <laughs> yeah. excited about that. And so she was good with that. And then she, um, and then when she got off, she wanted a stuffed animal too. Mm -hmm. And we were both like, at that point, she wanted a very specific <laughs> stuffed animal. She wanted like a $70 raccoon. <laughs> it was rocket. But it was yeah. rocket. I get <laughs> it, but still. So, and she was like, I didn't bring any stuffed animals. And so she was having a meltdown for that. And I was like, you know, we should probably leave. Like, we should probably go at this point. You yeah. Know? And she was like, no, no, I don't want to go. So we ended up negotiating and we found uh, one of the, like the little goat from Wish. <laughs> Let me tell you, I didn't negotiate. I said, I can't get, I'm not getting you any more stuff. She had already spent 200 and something dollars that she yeah. had already had. So she had spent a ton of money already and bought herself like 
all kinds of things. So there was Pins as much crops. as much as it broke my heart to tell her no. It was like, dude, you've already spent a ton of money. You've already got everything that you need. I'm sorry that this is happening, but Mandy's a softy and gave I it. Like I, I was the same way when I was a kid, and all, like up until I was probably like 13, 14 years old, half of my bed was covered in stuffed animals. I, I get it, and she's that way, and she loves her stuffed animals, so, so and I we totally didn't get it. Bring her any stuffed animals, we didn't. and I was like, that's true. Oh, like that's true, and so <laughs> that anyways, was definitely luckily, our bad, which doesn't ever happen with the Munchkin. But uh, she, we saw a wish section, and all the wish stuff was forty percent off. But I was just saying, I could like hear your headphones. I think no, I don't think it's the headphones. I think it's my phone still. Why is that your phone? I don't know. Like it wasn't doing it before. Oh no, it's still there. Are you connected to your headphones? Yeah, I don't. I am. Oh, Are you not. sure? No, you're not, because that's why it's <gasps> happening. Can you connect? I'm connected. Now you are. Yeah. And so as you take it down, we take it out of your ear. Yeah. <laughs> I'm dumb. <laughs> anyway, so that just happened. That's okay. It's not a big deal. I, I can well, edit it all I out. It maybe I'll leave it in. And it was fine. I know. I don't know what happened. Oh, well. Either way, just try to ignore that and just. I'm trying. It's hard because it's a. It's like backwards. <laughs> oh, by the way, for those of you that are listening, we could actually be watching this. So, because this is this is a video episode, I am going to release this for free video episode for everybody because it was supposed to be the Freeloader Friday, and all and those are always video episodes. Those are usually live, by the way, too. But I'm just, like I said, Mandy's actually sort of in the studio with me, like right next to me. So I cut. We're this is something new that we're trying out to see if this can be done and if it works out and if it sounds good, then great. Maybe we'll do more stuff like this, and I'll have more people in the studio. And then, and I'll try to build something nice behind them so it doesn't look like this weird black thing behind <laughs> you with lights on it. It looks crazy, but it is what it is. Check it out. Check out the video. We're just, we're growing here at the Mikey Podcast. It's what it is. All right. Do you want to get into some of these AMAs? So uh -huh. we talked about Disney. Disney. Disney was a good time. Um, uh, our weekend. I don't really want to spend too much time on on dwelling on how fucking horrible <laughs> this weekend was because it was so hot. For those of you that don't know, if you're not living in California, this is the hottest it's been in California on record. There's we broke records this this uh, past weekend. So on Friday and Saturday were the two hottest days ever in the history of my life. And, um, <laughs> and in our fucking pot, like our Friday, hottest day ever, uh, air conditioner breaks Saturday, hottest day ever, ever hotter than Friday fucking power goes out. So that's what we've been dealing with this whole weekend. Right now, the air conditioner is kind of working. Guys got to come in and put a new motor in on Monday, but he has me like going out there and cooling it off every couple hours to keep it running. So, it, but it's not running at its full capacity because it should be really, really cold in the house and it's, it's just comfortable. Well, yeah, because you usually keep the house at like 68. Well, it doesn't matter. It's just, it's not hitting where I have it scheduled. It's not where I have it at right now. It's not even getting there. No, no, I know. It's so, not getting past like 78 right now. But. Yeah. So it, it sucks, but it's livable. It's at least we're not having to stay in a hotel. <laughs> Last yesterday we went to a movie. Uh, to get the hell out of the house because it was so hot. So at we went, 1045 at night. went to a 1045 movie, which I haven't done since I was like 15 years old. <laughs> I It was fine. I thought I was going to fall asleep too. I really did. I think I may have dozed off for about five seconds. Did I? You did. Okay. Yeah. Uh, well, maybe it was a couple minutes, but it I did. It was too loud for me. To, it was like too jumpy. What movie was the hell? Was it, what was it called again? Uh, Quiet Place Day One. Oh, Day One. That's what it was. Mm -hmm. Quiet Place Day One. Pretty good movie. I thought it was okay. I liked it. I liked it a lot. I liked it better than the second one. There were some things about the movie I didn't like because I didn't really enjoy the, you know what, just go see the movie. I'm not going to tell you. I'm not a, I'm not a movie review guy, so I'm not going to try to get into this, but it it was decent. I will yeah. say that it was definitely worth going to see it, especially at 1045 at night. We had nothing better to do and it was nice and cold and in there. So that was tickets. nice. And we had free tickets. So that's good too. That actually made it worth it. Yeah. We actually, we tried to go to Mel's, Mel's Diner. First of all, there's no fucking diners that are open 24-7 in our area, ever, anywhere. No. So we thought maybe Mel's was, like the original Mel's Diner, the one from that everybody knows about, Mel's Diner. You would think that that'd well, be the place that's open 24-7, and it's not. We was, it closed at 11. I was like, I remember going there at like 1 or 2 o'clock in the morning after like drinking. And yeah, it was that, after the bar stuff. Yeah. So mm. I was so surprised. I was like, what are kids supposed to do after dances and stuff? <laughs> you know what? Not go to Mel's, that's for sure. And besides <laughs> that, their food has gone way downhill. Those, yeah, those mozzarella sticks made me never want to eat mozzarella sticks. It was again. just, I, I used to love Mel's. And then it's just a diner, you know what I mean? But it's, it's now it's. But diner it's, food is the best food. It's one step above Denny's right now at this point. Barely. That's how bad it was. At least the one here in Rockland, California was that bad. I used yeah. to go to the one on Douglas after the bar all the mm -hmm. time. And, and I sort of got it was two, three o'clock in the morning and it was open, but maybe, I, maybe I was there you know earlier. What? I think Leatherby's is open really late on the weekends. I think, go to I think they're open to like one or two. 
We should have went to Leatherby's yesterday. We definitely. That would have been should. good. Their French fries are bomb. So that's our that was our weekend, and so now we're doing this this episode of the Mikey Podcast. And I wanted to do this AMA because I, all these people ask questions, and I posted them on social media saying, "Hey, tune in <laughs> at five o'clock. Tune in at five. I'm going to answer your question." But you know, whatever. Maybe I'll get your. Liar. I'm not a liar. I can't help with Mother Nature or. I just can't help the universe <laughs> fucking us this weekend. Yeah. All right. So this first question comes from somebody named Chuck. Is actually Chuck from Cleveland. I think I know who this guy is. Says, Mikey, as someone who grew up in Ohio, what's the weirdest thing you miss about the Buckeye State? What would you think that it is that I would say? Mr. Hero. Oh, my God. That's exactly <laughs> what I would say. Mr. Hero is the greatest thing ever. You've, you have yet to have a Mr. Hero sandwich. Yeah. You're probably not going to like it. Most, a lot of people, like any any of my family or any of my friends from Cleveland that are listening to this, are like Mr. Fucking Hero, dude. Of all the things, Mr. Hero. There's just something about this greasy burger. You can't get it. It's gang. It's called a Roman burger, and it and it's on a sub. It's on like sub bread, and it's got tomato and lettuce, and it's hot and it's kind of cold, and I can't explain it. It's so <laughs> good. <laughs> it's so good. Sounds and like it would give me a stomach ache. They also have cheesesteak sandwiches and they have waffle fries with cheese that you dip in. Mm, and um, they got a couple other really good sandwiches. But I would say Mr. Hero, you, the question is, what's the weirdest thing? Oh, okay. So Mr. Hero. Yeah. I would say Mr. Hero is probably the weirdest thing that I miss from Ohio. But I very much do miss, miss that. And every single time I go back to Ohio, I get a Mr. Hero sandwich. I know. You always text me and tell me. Yep. Or I take a picture of it uh -huh. and I post it online like an idiot. <laughs> All right, next question. This is, what's the most bizarre conspiracy theory you've ever covered on the Mikey podcast? And did it make you question your sanity? Oh, my God. <laughs> and I've talked to you about this. QAnon. Oh, yeah. The QAnon stuff is by far the crazy. I did a whole whole episode on it. And it was like an hour and a half, two hours long, where I had like, I had actually talked to some guy who was deep in the QAnon oh, stuff. Oh, yeah, that's he, great. He, I didn't have him on the show. He didn't want to come on, but he answered all my questions for me. So I submitted a bunch of questions to him and I and I just talked about all that stuff. And man, let me tell you, this whole Donald Trump saving the world from baby eating fucking pedophiles <laughs> is the craziest thing ever. Yeah, I remember watching that video and, and telling you I watched the video and you were like, that's just crazy. And then you watched it and you're like, this is interesting. Well, it's interesting because it here's the fucked up thing about it is that I don't believe it, but yeah. it's not unbelievable. That's exactly. what's crazy about it. Yeah. You know, it's like, it's like just crazy enough. It's yeah. It's, it's like the same thing. Like the, it's like the whole Joe Biden stuff. Like is Joe Biden senile? Is he, is he capable of being president? <laughs> I don't know for sure. But what I can tell you is that People are questioning it and yeah. it's not so it's not unbelievable. It's like, you know, that's, that's not, crazy, but it's not that crazy. I think it's more believable than anything. You think that. Yeah. Well, yeah, for sure. The Joe Biden thing is yeah, more believable yeah, yeah. than than. But I I think that there is there are baby eating pedophiles out there. I don't know if they're baby eating, but I think that they obviously confess to putting like baby foreskin on their faces right? and stuff like that, like on uh, Oprah. Ellen, Oprah yeah. puts baby penis on her face. Yeah. So that's there there's obviously like some things that I feel like they're trying to use normalize, normal. maybe. Yeah, exactly. They're trying to normalize eating babies. And when I say eating babies, it's mostly about like the whole adrenochrome thing where they like supposedly this is part of the QAnon stuff. So if I, I don't get flagged on anything, I'm just explaining. <laughs> um, you know, for those that don't know, it's like they torture children and then whether it's sexually or physically abusing them in some way so that what so that their blood gets filled with adrenaline and then they basically drink the blood but it's not really the blood it's the adrenochrome so it's something from inside so it gets extracted from there and then and then they then you know the elites will eat it or whatever with it drink it or whatever and then it keeps them young i don't know it's sort of a way that they sacrifice or it's sort of like the way they worship mulak or the devil or whatever it's not funny. Well, it sounds crazy. It's crazy. That's but the question was, what's the crazy, what's the most bizarre conspiracy theory that I've ever covered? And I'm going to say the QAnon stuff. And I still will go back and read things and look for people who are still talking about QAnon. And they are. It is still just as active, maybe if not, maybe even more but now. I feel like there's so many things that have been proven wrong. That they're like, oh, this is happening on this date or this happened so many here. Things. And then it's just like nothing. There is an actual, there is a X Twitter, whatever you want to call it, account. 
uh, I don't know, I forget what it's called, QAnon something. And I don't follow it, but I go to it to see what they're posting. And I swear to God, every other day they post a the time. They're like, in four hours, the world's going to end. And I'm like, fuck yeah, I'm coming back in four hours because the world ain't going to end. And I come back in four hours and there's a whole nother time countdown. It's like, in six hours, you're going to regret everything. And I'm like, all right, in six hours, I'm coming back. <laughs> every time I come back, is just something new. Like there's something crazy that's going to happen and no nothing ever happens. But people still follow this shit and believe in it and think that that the world is... I don't know that the world is going to end or, or the QAnon stuff is real. Who knows? But to be honest with you, Donald Trump was asked about QAnon when, uh, when he was still president and he and that's did when he said, it was like, that doesn't sound so bad. Yeah. Cause the, the reporter was like, did you know about the QAnon conspiracy where you're supposed to be saving the world from these, these elite pedophiles? And he, and he said like something along the lines, like if I, like, is, is that such a bad thing if I'm actually saving the world? Yeah, it doesn't <laughs> so, sound like a bad one. He didn't say it, and this wasn't happening, but he also didn't really agree to it. All right, let's move on from the QAnon crazy stuff. This one's <laughs> actually about the podcast. Is how do you juggle your passion for podcasting with your work in the fuel and convenience industry without <laughs> losing your mind? Oh, my God, let me tell you. I this is mine daily. I, I, thank you. Thank <laughs> you for saying that and understanding where I'm coming from. I lose my mind every day. Every single day, every little day, every day it goes by, uh, the, the, the more I have, and no offense to my, to my coworkers or anything. I love these people. They're good people. But a little piece of me dies every single day that I have to go and do this job. Now, I know what my wife is going to say, so I have to be clear. Um, I'm very grateful for this job. That it, It's paying the bills. So you know what I mean? And I have a lot of freedom in this job too as well. My boss is amazing. Um, I don't think I could ask for a better boss. It, it, it ever, no matter what my job was, she's that great. And even my coworkers are, are really that great. Um, it's just that the question is, you know, how I juggle my passion for podcasting. That's what I'm passionate. I'm passionate about radio and podcasting and broadcasting and voiceover work. You can't really see my microphone here, but that's what I'm passionate about. I have zero passion for the fuels and convenience industry. Zero. So that's what makes me go crazy is that I'm doing this thing every single day that I just... <laughs> literally don't care about well i what i was going to say was like, i wrong i was like yeah, no, damn it. i wasn't I was, gonna say that I, was, I, I was gonna say you've spent your entire life doing exactly what you wanted to do where most of the society has to oh i lost my airpod that's okay most of society has to um do their work and make their pay, like pay their bills and then they do their passions on the side so true, true. You know, for my dad, he's always been a super hard worker. He's always been in the air compressor industry. And I feel like your dad likes it though. I think he's good at it. But I think he he's pretty passionate about it. Oh, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you know, like he's he's a musician. He yeah. Spends all of his free time doing music. This guy has has an amazing studio at his house, like a beautiful recording studio that he built and he has a little band that he's got going on and they're doing great things so he's his passion is his hobby is his passion yeah and he would i know that he would give up everything to do that full time yeah for sure so i think for most people they are just used to that but you got to be in the industry that you wanted to be in for so long and you can't really be in it right now because you're kind of blacklisted in this area a little bit <laughs> and, and then haters gonna hate there's a whole episode on it go listen to it it's a couple episodes uh, back and then we can't move right now that's so that's the main thing starting high school we have another kid starting middle school so that's the main thing if there's any radio people or programmers listening and, and you're looking for a guy to do a show remotely but that'll sound like they're there i can make that happen um but that's what i because that's what i would ultimately love to do is in this studio and, and build it out a little bit better and and be able to do a show from here that is on multiple channels or multiple stations, whatever it is. Ultimately, that I think I would love to do that and or grow this podcast into something that is that's the full time job, which is not just podcasting, but so many other things that can come along with it. But the th the only difference between me and some of those people you just mentioned, and it's not your dad, um, is that you know I, I the way you said it was like you know I got I was able to do this thing that I wanted to do my whole life. I worked for that though. So it wasn't, it was like, that's what I've been gearing my, this is why it's weird. You know what I mean? That's why it's hard for me. This, cause it's since I was seven years old that that's all I've ever done. That's all I've ever dreamed of. So, so not to say that I can't do something else because I, I'm, I can't, I'm doing it right now. Um, 
but it, that's what was so hard. And I've sort of accepted it as much as I can now is that it was, that's all I ever dreamed that I would ever do. And I started and I was able to do that. And that's all I ever wanted to do. So my goal was to ultimately work my ass off to keep that, to hold on to that forever. But I fucked up. You know what I mean? Like I got lazy. I got uh, jaded a little bit with the company that I was working for. And, the, and, and, it, and, and some of that stuff was valid. You know what I mean? Some of the feelings I had for the people that I was working for and with were valid. So, but I let all that get to my head. And I think that that partly, in a sense, threw me off track here. Well, and you have to think about it too, because you've also, you're not the same person you were in your early twenties or mm. early thirties even. That's true you too. Know, at that point in your life, you, I mean, you had two kids, but you chose to pursue your job. True. You know, so <clears throat> Michael and Justin were in Ohio and you were going to Nevada and then California, California and Boston. So now you're at a point in your life where, you know, you have to stay here for your daughter. Yeah. You I mean, that's the truth. And so that's a choice that we've made. We've had an option to move. Um, but ultimately it, it's about the kids. And that, that's really it. That's it. I've had, there has been an option that's come and I had to pass that up. But you know what? I think, I don't think that this is the end. And I think that this is just where we are right now. Yeah. Everything's always temporary. So to, to hand, how do I juggle it? The answer to this question is I don't juggle it. <laughs> like I just do it. You know what I mean? I just mm -hmm. do it. Like you have to think about, you have to think about the, your responsibilities. And, and I go through these moments of like having mental breakdowns where I'm struggling really, really hard. And whether my wife knows about it or not, some days she does, sometimes she doesn't. Sometimes she's like, I feel like you tell your podcast more than you tell me. Mm -hmm. And maybe that's true, yeah. but the podcast is a form of therapy a little bit too, but you know, just, you just got to get through it. You just have to, and try to try my, like I've said this a, a few times and even recently on a couple episodes, you just got to keep your eye on that light that's at the end of that tunnel because there's that light that, that's there. Sometimes it's hard to see. Sometimes it's really, really dark and that tunnel's really, 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 really dark, but there's always, always a little bit of a light. No matter what it is, it's there. You just have to keep your eye on that and, and get through that darkness to get to that light. And so that's what I'm trying to do. I'd say about 80% of the time you're really good at juggling everything and then every once in a while something drops yeah so whether it be your job um or whether it be like our relationship or whether it be like parenting stuff yeah as eventually something kind of breaks but i think you do a pretty good job at juggling i appreciate that thank you <clears throat> um but there's always something you know what i mean it's like life just doesn't stop yeah and that's not even just exclusive to you doing a podcast and having a job and being married and being a parent yeah. and being a bonus parent. And, yeah. Um, I, that's just life. Yeah. It's life. There's always something <laughs> and people and everybody deals with different things. So just know that there's always that light. Um, next question is about my vasectomy. <laughs> <laughs> best thing ever. <laughs> is it though? Is it the best thing ever? Well, I hope so. We don't know. We hope well, that it works. What? Six months. Yeah. Though, so I got to go back in a few months and, and then I got to, they're gonna test my stuff actually they're gonna mail me a kit oh i thought so they, they can... gave you a kit when they left. oh maybe they did maybe they did give it to me they I did will you... never find it no it's right here it's in this little bag behind me um they uh they, they give you a little kit i gotta take that back in in october i think or something like that uh so the yeah. question is you recently had a vasectomy any tips for making it through recovery with uh out feeling like you're being repeatedly kicked in the balls no as a matter of <laughs> fact there is no way to not feel like you're being Jeez. kicked in the balls um, the frozen peas do help is I said that on the show as stupid as that is, they help. They and fucking help ahead of the pain. Like, take yeah, the that's pain true. Medicine, like just take it on a schedule. Don't wait for the pain to come. Mm -hmm. Cause he does that. Cause but I don't, I don't like to take pills. Like here's, this is so fucked up. <laughs> I'll take a pill because I want to get high, but when I'm like in pain, I don't want to take it. No, I'm not taking pills. Get out of here. You know, just sit away from me. I don't but, that you know, fucking bullshit. I can tell he was in pain and I'd be like, all right, you know, take, take this one and then you know and then <laughs> six hours later i'm like mm, okay so here well I, I i don't feel any pain right now well, you will <laughs> they just keep taking it so you don't feel it but that's how you become an alcoholic <laughs> no i mean you're not going to do that with fucking tylenol or whatever Advil. <laughs> you never know <clears throat> but yeah just, just stay on your pain medicine and they don't give you anything but yeah you know just regular advil worked for you don't go to Target immediately after you get your vasectomy, which yeah, is what I did. Like don't do, yeah, don't do that. Don't walk around the mall the next day. Um, don't do that. Uh, don't really move a whole lot. Yeah, just 
he has a hard time. Like even I was, I was, I was doing dishes and cleaning I know, the house. I came downstairs <laughs> and you were doing dishes. I was like, what are you doing? I can't. I have a problem. Like I, like I have a hard time sitting still. I would be like reading the book for hours. I can't do that. Mm-hmm. That drives me crazy. But yeah, honestly, just, I thought about getting my tubes tied because I was like, I would be in bed for two weeks. That's awesome. <laughs> I'm just gonna get my tubes tied so I don't have to do shit for a while. I could be off work for two weeks. That That'd was the be best great. thing. That was a great thing. I did get a day and a half off of work, and then I had, um, and then I had a vacation. You so it was like my birthday. I could have, and I didn't even really think about it. Yeah. But I could have took advantage of that, but I didn't. If you're listening, boss, I didn't take advantage. I could have. And you got a vasectomy like two days before your birthday. Which I don't recommend because you're not getting birthday sex. No. So that kind of sucked. And not any birthday sex for like two weeks after. Yeah. It sucks. So have sex first. That's your advice. Anyway, let's move on. Next question is about, oh, this is what is the strangest? I'm going to do a couple more of these before I read this question. I'm going to do a couple more of these. And then I want to, what are these questions that you have for me? What are they called? Girl, it was like a thing I saw on TikTok or whatever. Oh my God. It's always this TikTok. You have no idea. I would just be laying in bed, scrolling, reading conspir- like crazy conspiracy shit. And she'll just look at me and start asking me these questions. Like, what's your favorite flower? Or what's my favorite flower? No, that's like, okay. That's like a couple questions. What year were you? Like what what, t- what time were you born? Because you're always like, I was raised by my mom and my sisters. I know all about <laughs> I, girls. So I want to see if you know these questions okay so because i was this is what it comes down to that's good that's a good way to do it it's because i was yeah. raised by my mom and my two sisters sorry brothers if you happen to be listening but you weren't fucking there um <laughs> that's a, no offense it's just this is the truth older. yeah um so i do know i think i do know women pretty well and i have a daughter so what the fuck yeah and then these are all things that you'll be able to if you don't know we can talk about them and then you'll know for all right so this is going to be good parenting advice i'm going to go through like two kind of th- it's a lot of like beauty and oh great <laughs> we'll go through like two or three more of these regular questions and then we'll get to your female questions <laughs> you said that was such disdain <laughs> i know i did that on purpose all right what is the strangest or most outrageous piece of hate mail you ever received <laughs> and how did you respond all right this is actually a great question i don't even know if you know this story um and i'm gonna say it quickly because i don't have the mail it actually i have the mail somewhere i just don't know where it's at oh boy. um somebody wrote a piece literally hand wrote a fucking letter Del- hand delivered that letter to the radio station 98 rock when i was working there you weren't even worth the postage stamp no actually it was beyond that it, <laughs> they hated me so much that they wrote this shit down and wanted to make sure that it got delivered to the person it needed to go to. <laughs> um, because they probably thought maybe if they just mailed it in, it would go, you know, in the junk pile or whatever. Mm-hmm. So this letter talked about the night guy, which is what I was at the time, Mike ate the night guy. Um, in in my use of the word goddamn. They did not like that I said goddamn. And it was up. They were very upset about it. They were using oh, like every a religious thing, but they were using every other swear word that they could think of. This fucking guy at fucking night. He who the fuck does he think he is saying? Goddamn! Like yeah. what are you talking about, dude? So this guy was really, really angry about my use of goddamn. My boss had called me in to the office to talk to <laughs> read this letter to me, and he's laughing and he's <laughs> like, "This is ridiculous." But he, the, he, but he, he said that the person isn't wrong. Try not to say goddamn so much. And I was like, all right, that's valid because I, I, th- I think I did say goddamn a lot. Yeah. And in, in just didn't even realize it. Um, but so I did. I just kind of cut back on the goddamn thing. So I think that, and I don't know if that person still, if hated me forever or ever tuned back in again, I don't know. But that letter is somewhere. Should have been that goddamn show. Oh, it should have been. <laughs> that would have been hilarious. But that was probably the the biggest piece of hate mail that I, that I know of. I've gotten actually a lot more like fan mail. That I've gotten hate mail, I'm but sure. I but I've gotten more hate to my face than anything. Well, well, actually, I've gotten more love to my face, but I've gotten more hate to my face than I've ever gotten in the mail. So Does it <laughs> love love to your yeah, face. love to my face? It's the truth, I'm though. Sure, you have. Uh, as a former radio host in various states, what is who's the craziest listeners and why? Who has the, which state has the craziest listeners and why? I'm going to say Boston. Oh, I'm sure. And that's all I need to say about yeah, that. Yeah, I was like, like I don't think you need do, to. Do I really need to all. explain? Bostonians are fucking insane. Um, the good people, great people. I loved living there for the short period of time that I lived there because of the history and all that that was going on. I love history, American history. You were there when the Boston. And I was there for the bomb. Boston, the Boston massacre. Just getting the Boston Marathon bombing, bombing, um, which was basically a massacre. Um, that was 
fucking crazy. That documentary we watched on that was crazy. It was, and, and it was so crazy to watch that and, and, know that you were there. and like how, feel it again, you know, to yeah. feel those, those same emotions and feelings that I was being scared and being, I can't believe your daughter watched that. <laughs> I, I, man, I don't, my daughter's, my ex-wife's had her watches i don't know why but maybe maybe because she scared. wanted to like, learn about boston because you fell asleep and then and then michael was going to take my car so i went to the gas station to get gas and i was like so i was nervous it was like it was it, it's if you have a guys that was it on netflix yeah i think so check it out watch i don't know what it's called but you should watch it because it's definitely it's definitely a really good deep dive into the Boston Marathon bombing. Yeah, it was, was really good. I didn't story. know a lot of what happened yeah. because when stuff like that happens, a lot of times I tend to like put up a wall and yeah. not go on to news sources. Well, I'm, I mean, it makes sense. That was a week of shit. Yeah. Like there was just so like every day, every couple hours. How long it took them to find them. Yeah. It's, it's pretty crazy. It took it took a while for them to find them, and they just continued to to cause devastation and yeah. just keep to keep an entire city locked down and scared. And the only people that got, like I was it was me it was media people, it was media and police officers or military were the only people that were allowed in and out of the city, and that was just insane to me. It was like the same thing with COVID. Like they yeah. had, they gave I fucking still have my pass somewhere. It was like I you're allowed to free. You. Like <laughs> me? Why me? I shouldn't. I'm not essential. I shouldn't have been essential, but whatever. That was yeah. weird. But that's what that was. So yeah, so Boston, craziest people ever. Uh, let's see. Let's do one more. Uh, what's the one thing you wish your listeners would stop asking you about? Okay. This will be the last question for here, I think. Maybe we come back to some of these other ones. But the, what, is the one, what is the one thing you wish your listeners would stop asking you about? That old morning show. <laughs> Honestly. Yeah, for real. Like, it's. For me, I don't have any hate towards them. And I know that like there was a lot of animosity between you guys. But oh. honestly, if I didn't listen to that show, I wouldn't have found your show. And True. I wouldn't have found you. And I've... I stopped listening to them because it became like a long advertisement. True. That was just my preference. But I loved Amanda on the show. Like I'm still ta like I talked to her on Instagram and stuff. But um, I loved Amanda. That was like the whole reason I listened. So once she was gone, I, I like Brandon a lot. Um. But other than that, it was just, I just, I don't care yeah. anymore. Like I had my fun with them. I had fun making fun of the guy. The dude is struggling. He was struggling. Hopefully I think he's getting his life together. which so good for him. Um, he went through his the DUI and all that stuff. And, and it was fun to not, not to make fun of him, but it, it wasn't fun to use him as an example, but there's a lot of people that I've lost in my life to DUI. So it was, it was calling him out in, 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 on his hypocrisy was important to me at least and um which i didn't necessarily like no you just didn't because i have a lot of alcoholics and drug addicts in my family and i just feel like he was probably dealing with something so dark that nobody else true knows about yeah and i just felt bad for him like i just i do. just wanted him to get better and like thank god nobody was hurt when he was drinking and I don't know. He just, and it makes me sad because he has so many people. He has so much and he, I don't think he like realizes it kind of where you were at right at the end of that damn show. Yeah. It was like, you didn't realize how much you guys had. And then that's totally true. You know? And then I just, I don't know. I would hate to see him lose all of that. He was on the verge of losing everything. And he, I mean, he really did, but, but still, he was, you know, but he was but, able to bring it back. No. So that's what I do. I do just, I wish people would stop asking me like, you're, or even like, and, and I'm in please. You guys. Yeah. We're not the same. We're not, we're not, we don't work together. We never really did. I mean, we worked together for a little bit, but that was it. You know, there was, we weren't in the same building for years. There is, there's, I have no connection to him and he has no connection to me. He doesn't think about me. I don't think about him unless somebody asks me about him. Yeah. Or if I see something that happens to come up and usually it's usually somebody sending me a message on Instagram or Facebook. Hey, did you see this? Or did you hear about this or whatever? Um, I don't care about that, but feel free to make fun of the radio station. All you want to <laughs> send me messages and memes and whatever about that radio station, because they're still terrible. They're not getting any better. And they're continuing to talk shit about me and prevent me from furthering my career. So I don't give a fuck about them. You could talk mad shit and I will continue to talk shit about them. Yeah. 
<laughs> I don't have anything to say about that one. No, because, because there's people, people over there. There's people over there. Not not good. All right, so let's move on. So now let's go to um, where did I wanted to do the Disneyland question, which we did do already. Oh, you know what? I'm sorry. I do have to play. I do have one more. Oh. I have to. I I just don't know if this is uh let me let me let me um let me see if I can make this make this happen because <laughs> because I feel like this needs to be this is a this is a great question and I have an answer that I think everybody is gonna love. But what what are what are some of the questions that you have on there while I'm trying to get you know what? Never mind. I'm not gonna I play like, this. I'm gonna save this. What? Because okay. I don't think I can play it. I don't know that oh. I, I don't I don't know that anyone's gonna be able to hear it if I play it. So Oh, did you not figure that out yet? Well, yeah, I can't play it. Oh. So that's fine. Well, that's fun. Right? Listen, I'll tell you, got you what. got me all excited. Well, I'm going to get everybody excited right now because on Wednesday, here's the question. The question is, what do you think Trump would say if he listened to an episode of the Mikey podcast? And would you dare to invite him on as a, on as a guest? First of oh all, yes, God. I would love to have him on as a guest. But the thing is, is I actually know exactly what he would say. <laughs> exactly what he would say. I and I, I've heard this. I have... I can't play it right now. I want to play it because I want people to hear it. And I'm, listen, let me let me just. Oh, there has to be a way I can make this happen because I want you people to hear this thing. What? Nothing. I know what it is. You don't know what it is. This is. You showed me this. You don't know. You don't know what you're talking about. I do know what I'm talking about. Let's see if we can make this happen. All right. So the question was, do what do you think Donald Trump? Mm -hmm. would say about the Mikey podcast if he listened to an episode of the Mikey podcast. And let me tell you, as I said, I know exactly what Trump would say, and this is what he would say. Well, let me tell you, folks, the Mikey podcast is tremendous. Believe me, it's the greatest podcast out there. He's right. And I should know. He should know. I've listened to a lot of podcasts, believe me, <laughs> and none of them even come close to the Mikey podcast. Mikey is a winner, folks. You He's heard it first. The best guests, the best <laughs> It's topics, really accurate and the best with his insights. rambling. And let me tell you, nobody has more insights than nobody. me. Nobody. Nobody. But Mikey, he's right up there with the best of them. Right there. I'll be honest with you, folks. The Mikey podcast is the only podcast I listen to. There you go. That's right. The only one because nobody else even comes close. <laughs> and you know what else? Mikey is a great guy. He's a <laughs> just winner. Keeps just keeps like going. Me. And when you listen to <laughs> it's his a great podcast, guy. you're going to feel like a winner, too. You are. So let me just say this, folks. Say it. If you're not listening to the Mikey podcast, Thank you. you're missing out. You're a hell of a guy, Big Trump. League. Big Believe league. me, it's tremendous. So yeah. go ahead, give it a listen. You won't be disappointed. You won't be disappointed from the Trump man himself. MikeyPodcast.com. Mikey Pod he didn't say Mikey Pod Dickhead. I'm gonna have to have a talk with him. So that's what Trump, <laughs> that's exactly what Trump would say or think about the Mikey Podcast. So now you know. I think that that was important and people needed to hear that. And I'll play it again on Wednesday for those of you that needed to get that, that maybe you missed it. Nerd. We'll see. Well, let me tell you, folks. All right, sorry. Uh -oh. All right, uh, all right. So let, let's move on. That was the that was a round of AMA. There are some questions I didn't get to. Maybe I'll get to more on Wednesday if I can, if there's some time. Uh, but I want to get to these questions with my wife that she has. With what again? These questions are questions about women. Yes. Or female things, or maybe even parenting in a way. I don't know. Not parenting. No. Not parenting. They're they're mostly like I said, like beauty women questions beauty women questions for yeah. a man named mike yeah so it's just to see like if you, you were going to ask me do questions it would be like what's this screwdriver for <laughs> no i wouldn't that would not be the questions i would ask you if they were dude questions i but, don't all know right. something stupid so are you gonna ask me like what does this makeup brush do kind of <sighs> i'm not gonna know that well i just want to see how much you know all right all right. So the first is a makeup question. It is, <laughs> what is the difference between foundation and concealer? What is the difference between foundation and concealer? Well, foundation is the foundation of your whole getting ready. So like you need a foundation. So it'd be like your underwear, your bra, <laughs> your socks. That's your foundation to build on of everything else. Right? Mm, no, but keep going. But that it makes the most sense, and the other part is concealer. the concealer. Well, I feel like that sort of ex speaks for itself. It's clothes, right? It covers everything up. No. So, like, you have the foundation is the foundation of your clothes, <laughs> and then the concealer is to conceal your body. No. I don't fucking know. So, foundations like the skin colored makeup that you put on to like even out your skin tone. Concealer <sighs> is like covering up like zits or dark eye 
So circles. this is the way women lie to men. This is how this yes. is how we get catfished. That's why you take them swimming first. That's that date. first date. Always go swimming. Throw them in the pool. All right, so foundation <laughs> is foundation and concealer is makeup. I think I might have actually known that. Yeah. I was like, I feel like you know this. <laughs> what is a French manicure? French manicure. French manicure. Well, you know what a manicure is. Yeah, that's when you get your nails. So you just okay. get so <laughs> the French you, type. Yeah, you get your nails done in France. No. You know, know what a French manicure is. Is it the white one? Yeah. Oh, okay. The the, tips. Well, so I honestly didn't know that. Okay. I just I thought that that was just a manicure. No. So when you say French, French manicure, manicure, I literally I thought maybe it was just oh, just a French way of doing Which it. I've never really understood. I always thought the white tip thing was weird. So what's an American manicure? Well, I don't know. What's a Spanish manicure? There is none. Is there an I don't know. American Not manicure? Know no, I'm Puerto Rican manicure. <laughs> It's not an inclusive manicure. Russian manicure. I don't know. I'll ask Tanya. Turkish manicure. <laughs> I don't know anybody Turkish. <laughs> you don't know anybody in Turkish. I said I don't know anybody Turkish. Oh, okay. All right. What's the next one? I'm what doing great mean, so far. What does it mean to be a 32D? Us when you have like pretty big boobs, right? Well, what does the 32 mean? What does the D mean? 32, damn. <laughs> <laughs> No, that's not. They're not. I'm not that big, actually. I don't know what thirty. I, I feel like D would mean damn. <laughs> no, that's so I thirty-two find. is the. Like, yeah, but A is small. A is small, right? Well, but there's also like sister sizing. So, for example, thirty-two D is what I am. So it's not huge, but right. thirty-two is around your um, like underbust, and then the cup size is A B C D, but. My like sister size. So if I don't find something in 32D, I could be a 34C. So it's confusing. So yeah, because so what does it mean? I don't know what it means. Does it mean there's big boobs or not? It, it just it's your bra size. So it's around. So this third so 32D is your size? Yes. Okay. Then I know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> right? I guess. I know what my wife's boobs look like. So I know what that size is. All right. Anyway, what is a stiletto? <laughs> stiletto. That's a high heel. Mm -hmm. but, but it's like a specific kind of high heel. Is it made from steel? No. It's not? No. I honestly thought that. I thought that really? maybe the heel part was made from steel. So it's a steel. Is It's not steel. No, it's, it's still, stiletto. I have no idea. It's like the skinny heel. So it's like the really tall, skinny heel. Talk to me about heels and the point of them. Do they do what do they oh, do? do they, is it because they is it is it that they make the butt look good or is it something to do with the legs? I think I think it was a chick flick, but it said that men created heels to make women to make it easy or harder for women to run away. That's stupid. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Why? That sounds like something a woman would say. Trap. <laughs> Trap dumb. women. No, but stiletto, I don't I've never been able to wear stilettos. If I wear a heel, I don't think I've wedge. ever seen my wife wear heels. I wear I wear wedges. That's not a heel though. That's a wedge. Yeah, but it's still a heel. It's just it's connected. No, well, whatever. Because that's all I can walk in. <laughs> what is a money piece? Money piece? <laughs> <laughs> like your ring? Like a watch? No. Um. That's a good guess. Is it a bling? Like this is my money piece. No. <laughs> no, no. Like a necklace. <laughs> is it jewelry at all? No. Um. Okay. Is it a grill? No. Uh money piece. Is it oh it's your purse. No, but Wallet. that's a good guess too. Wallet? No. It has to do with hair. Oh, it's fake hair because no. it's so fucking expensive. No. I mean I have no <laughs> idea. So like when girls get highlights and there's like chunks of lighter here, it's called their money piece. Why why though? Because that doesn't make any sense. So it's like if you want to get lighter hair, but you don't want to dye it quite as much, you'll dye pieces around your face so you look lighter, but you're not damaging your hair as much. What does that got to do with money? I don't know. It's like your money piece. I don't know. I don't make up the rules. It doesn't make that. This, that's dumb. So if Kent, uh, if Munchkin <laughs> came <laughs> to say. Almost said it. <laughs> almost uh, but came and said she wanted just her money pieces. It would just be like her bangs. Well, like, now I would know. You know how she wants her bangs out when her hair is up? Yeah. It would be those pieces. Well, now I know and I would just tell her to tell you. 
<laughs> tell her to tell her mom. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Uh, what is a balayage? Kind of in the same wheelhouse. It sounds dirty. It sounds like <laughs> it sounds it? like something like you like you would you put my balls in it in the balayage. <laughs> <laughs> right like a ball massage maybe it's a ball massage maybe it's like a like no. a chastity belt for your the balls ball chastity do you know what that even is i don't even know what that is what? she doesn't know what a chastity is. all right whatever anyways <laughs> so a balayage is like a blended highlight so like the top so when i used to get my hair highlighted it was like kind of darker on the top but lighter on the bottom yeah it's a balayage it's a stupid name I couldn't say it for the longest time. I was like, are you even saying it right? Yeah, I am. Are you sure? How do you spell it? B-A-L-A-Y-A-G-E. I would never say it like that. Balayage. Bally gag. (laughs) Ball gag. Gross. What is my water (laughs) line? What is what? My water line. Water line? Um, You have one too. Water line? Yeah, what's your water line? That's the, that is like I've had that I cannot drink any more water. I have reached my water line. No. <laughs> is that not right? That's not right. That so makes that makes so much sense though. Water line is like here. So when you put Rise? eyeliner on your water line, like where you're so people will put eyeliner here on the bottom part? Mhm. Okay. That's your water line. Why? Why is it called that? Cuz it's where your tear duct is. So your water line why not call it tear line i don't make the names i'm just telling you right. there i like my explanation better for my what does it mean to tight line your eyes <laughs> what does it mean to to tight line to tight line your eyes tight line your eyes is when you get a facelift and it pulls your shit back like this <laughs> and then so that over time you start to look like an alien Bell has really bad gas. Um, no. Bell is the dog, by the way. She's <laughs> laying right here and she's farting on my wife. So bad. But it's the other side of your eyes. So up here, you're going to put eyeliner, like dark eyeliner up here to make it look like your eyelashes go all the way. Go all the way where? Well, because there's like skin color there. So if you don't tight line your eyes, it you can see the skin and then your eyelashes. So oh. it looks weird. I don't think it looks weird. I don't think anybody. Well, my eyelashes are really dark, so it does look weird. But anyway, what's threading? Threading. I know this one. Yeah. This is when you like, when you like sew your eyebrows. You don't sew, you use thread to wax your eyebrows and it hurts. I don't know why people do that. Oh, so it's not, they're not like literally putting through, like your eyebrows Mm -hmm. don't become the thread. I thought that, that it was, I honestly, this is not even joking. I thought that like, like she would, like uh, someone would sew in your eyebrows. You were kidding. No, I'm dead serious. Like I, I swear to God, I've seen videos of this. No, they take one string and hold it tight. And then they take the other string and go across and it just plucks your eyebrows for you. That's not what I thought. But I don't know what the fuck I saw. Do you know what microblading is? Maybe that's, Maybe what, that's I saw. what you saw. So it's, that's basically like tattooing your eyebrows, but with like a blade. So you like hmm. get little hair. Maybe that's strokes. what I saw. Tanya uh, microblades. Tanya who? My best friend. From where? From Rose Gold Tattoo. Oh, okay. I was like, what? How do you not know who Tanya is? Rose Gold Tattoo, that place is great. It's in Folsom. Tanya's the best, but you have to schedule like five months in advance. Yeah, she's pretty dope. <clears throat> um, What is a body con dress? Is that like a skin tight dress? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> What is the luteal phase? Say it again. What is the luteal phase? Luteal phase? Yeah. It's the pre-delulu phase. So it's right before you become delusional, you are a luteal. It, that's actually pretty accurate. Really? I was no, talking so out my it, ass. I have no, no idea. So like, it's like the PMS phase. So it's like <laughs> right before your period. <laughs> right before you become delusional. Yeah. That's fucking so it's great. Like, it's, the, it's where you're moody and hungry and Pre-delulu. Emotional. Pre pre dulio, what is it called again? Uh, the luteal phase. Oh, it's pre luteal. What's a bralette? Well, it's like a like a midget bra. <laughs> no, I mean kind of. It's like a it's like a it's the bras that I wear. So it's not like that's not a midget bra. No, I well, it's like 
it's not like a push up bra or like an underwire bra or it has like clasps. It's basically it's like, a like sports a, bra. It's like a sports bra, but gotcha. less like holding you down. Gotcha. So, what is contouring? Oh, I know what that is. That's um, that's a makeup thing. What is it? I don't know what it is though. But it's but it 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 like makes it look like you have uh depth not depth but like definition yeah, to your yeah. face so, like, like i could use a little contouring right you'll now use the like to con- like see how contoured my cheek looks right now but see but it but yeah it looks good on camera and it actually looks good in real life i've well, seen i but only I, do it with like a powder i don't like do cream anything because i've seen videos of these girls like getting themselves ready or whatever and they're like contouring it's like magician and they but they it's fucking crazy they become a completely different person yeah and then in the mid in the middle of it they look weird as fuck. Yeah, because like, their they lips have, are all white. And, and they, they just have, have like, 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 yeah, these spots. Like well, these, and then the, people will contour their nose. So if they have like a bigger nose, they'll they'll come across the line. Like they'll put lines here and then like across the bridge. And then they'll it literally makes their lo- nose look smaller. Somebody's come contour my fucking nose. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ, that thing's crazy. What's the difference between a jumpsuit and a romper? So is a, well okay so wait no 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 all right uh, <laughs> i think a like a, a romper is the whole outfit and so like it's the pot it's the bottom it's the top it's everything and then a jumpsuit is just um just <clears throat> just a one piece top thing that snaps like at the crotch interesting that's a good guess uh jumpsuit <laughs> <Interesting. laughs> a jumpsuit is it's like a romper. It's like the whole thing, but it's with pants. And then oh. a romper is with shorts. Wait, what? So a jumpsuit is all attached. So it's like a dress, but with pants. Oh. And then a romper is like a short oh, dress. Oh, oh, I got you. Okay, okay. All yeah. right, all right. Well, th- then overalls are not. That's what I was getting confused with. Yeah, so like, uh, yeah. So it's kind of like a overalls, but without like snaps. Okay. Um, what are Kegel exercises? Oh, I've seen, you know, I've, uh, you've seen what? Not seen, well, I've, <laughs> you know, they talk about stuff like that on porn, I think. Um, but it's, I know that they tell guys to do this too. Oh, really? Yeah. Cause well, you can like, you can like control things. <laughs> um, but it's, I can't explain it. I don't know how to explain a Kegel exercise, but for, for females, it makes their junk tighter. Right. Yes. Well, I don't want to say I don't want to be perverted. You don't like the word pussy, so I'm not going to say oh. that. I said you just it. Said I said it, it anyway. You did it on purpose. <laughs> no, but yeah, am I right? So, like, it's exercises to make you tighter. It's kind of and for for dudes, it's sort of the same thing. They can do that same thing to to make it so they have more control. Interesting. Um, what does a hair diffuser do? It did, makes your hair less staticky. I, no um that's no that's right i mean even the name diffuse sounds well, like so mostly people that with curly hair use it so they'll like kind of hover or like use it to scrunch up their hair to make it curlier and make the curls more defined that sounds like the opposite of diffuse. well it's so it's not frizzy but it the curls are defined okay so so the fuse is the hair. It's all over the place. It's the little <laughs> hairs. Guess. And then if you defuse it, the little hairs sort of relax. Well, it's diffuse. Oh, it's not defuse. It's, it's not diffuse. Defuse, it's diffuse. What's the difference between defuse and diffuse? I don't know. I think there isn't one. I think that it's the same <laughs> word. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, it, like if you, I don't know, I, I guess our algorithms would be different, but <laughs> curl, they'll use it and their curls are super nice okay so and less frizzy what's a cut crease referring to cut crease Mm -hmm. it's those smile lines that people get that i have right here that's a Mm -hmm. crease it's a cut crease. crease in my face no it's makeup so it's basically like when your eyelid is skin toned and then you use eye shadow on top so there's your crease, and then you cut into it with the color, and then do color on it's top. It's complicated being a woman. It can't. You have be. to know all this shit. I know. I don't do half of this. But you know, you know all these things. Yeah, just because of 
videos or whatever. Men don't have to know any of this stuff. Well, you know other stuff. Like what? I don't know. Like some guys know sports. Well, I mean, There's I know so, I know I know sports. I was gonna say you can sit there and talk about football and stuff. Like that's a lot of rules. I know politics. Yeah, that's another thing I don't care about. <laughs> All right. So you could ask me a bunch of questions about sports and and politics, and I'd be like, I don't know. Uh, last couple. What's a cold shoulder dress or top? <sighs> well, like when someone gives you the cold shoulder, that's when somebody's like ignoring you, right? <laughs> So what would a dress or top be that's cold shoulder? The, uh, there's, it's just, there's, it's just there. It's right here off the shoulder. That's off the shoulder. That's not the same thing as cold. It's not shoulder. The same thing. Oh, well maybe it's if your shoulder's cold, it's covered up. <laughs> no. So it's like, usually that you have like a tank top and then <laughs> like just the shoulders hanging out. And then there's like, then Oh, and, and there's like another of the piece sleeve. of fabric. Yeah. So like if this was my shirt, then yeah. this part would be open. And that's called cold shoulder. Cold shoulder. I guess that makes sense. Yeah. What's a fish? Because your shoulder's going to be cold now. Yeah, exactly. What's a what? What's a fish tail? Isn't that the the top of the thong that sticks out of the <laughs> It's a whale tail. <laughs> oh. <laughs> my bad. <laughs> I don't know that. It's a braid. It's a, sp- a kind of braid. So it's like two strands that are really thin that go into each other why is it called that because it looks like a fishtail i guess oh okay i don't know but i was trying to think of somebody that has a fishtail braid but elsa i think has a dutch braid yeah she does what does baking your makeup mean when you put it on and then go stand in the sun and to dry it <laughs> to dry it. <laughs> is that not right no so generally it's like you'll put concealer underneath your eyes mm-hmm. and then you'll put like um, setting powder on it or like in specific areas and then it you let it sit for a while so it kind of like bakes, it gets warm Stupid. or whatever and then you brush off the Let excess. me tell you that my mom and my sisters never talked about any of this stuff. They probably, well, some of this is like newer, like baking makeup I don't think was a thing. I mean, setting your makeup, I think, has always been a thing, which is kind of the same thing. Okay. It's just a different way of doing it. Like, you'll see me spray my face. After yeah, I've seen I'm that. Done. That's setting your makeup. Ba- it's like putting hairspray on your face. To but my face is so in. dry, I can't wear a lot of powder. Okay. Not that you needed to know that. <laughs> <laughs> what is a gua, gua sha? It's a mushroom. I barely know what this it's is. It's a mushroom. A gua sha? Sounds like it would be a mushroom. No, it's a, it's like a stone that you, I actually have one, but, um, it's a stone that you use with like facial oil and then you can use it to, um, basically like acupressure to help tighten your skin. Oh, that's all I got. That's it. Yeah. That's it. 20 questions. That was a lot. That was a lot. And I did, (laughs) and I knew every single one of them. I know. I think I did really good. You, I, I I was like a hundred. Was it not? I feel like I got pretty much all of them right. I feel like you got like two or three. I feel like I got all of them right. Anything. Oh, we got, there's we, me. I don't know if we if it froze up and cut us out or what, but that's it. That's That was like 20 questions. Yeah. 20 questions that I got all of them right. You got and then none of them right. I got all of them right. And then, um, and then, uh, you know, I did some AMAs. I didn't get to all the AMA, but maybe I'll try to get some more on Wednesday. But I feel like this this episode's gone on long enough. This is almost this is over an hour. Minutes. 103 minutes. Just kidding. Um, but it's a good show. Thanks for coming on. I like when you're here. I have fun talking to you. I you just, it takes me a minute. Even if it is just questions that I got every answer right to because I'm so fucking smart. But maybe, you know, maybe next time, we could talk about like politics. <laughs> yeah, nobody wants to know Let me tell you, the, she has an opinion. She has a very strong opinion about things and you would be surprised to know. I mean, obviously she's married to me, so you might not be that surprised, but you'd be surprised to know 
how she feels about a lot of things. And I think that it would be interesting to hear her perspective on some things, especially coming up with like what she feels about Joe Biden and Donald Trump so, it being an election year. I want to get your opinion. I saw a video earlier today and it was like celebrities and politicians that you have never seen young. And they showed a picture of Joe Biden <laughs> and he was hot. Oh, when he was younger? Yes. Wow. No, have you seen him? Get out of here. I've seen him when he was younger. I feel like he was bald the whole time. Are you no, sure you're not like getting... No, he was super... It may have not been... Like, I didn't double check or anything, but like... He was I... not ever attractive. He was... Like, let me see if you I you sure you're it. not thinking of RFK or something like that? Because... I, they may have, like, used a different picture, but cause, but all the other ones looked like that. It could also be he AI. did not look... Think about that. Think about AI. And now I want to see this picture. I'm going to make her find the picture online. Hold so on. Now I have to see this. Because I don't... Th I've seen the guy. I seen him when he was younger, like when he was in his early thirties, and he There's was one picture that I saw, which I don't know if it like was a fucking douchebag like... back then. Yeah, it was this one. This is probably yeah, like that picture of Donald Trump where he shaved his head and he has a goatee. Oh yeah, no, I've never seen that picture of him. He's actually has a good looking He's guy. He's a good looking dude. Can you see? Can you guys see that? Look at that. He looks good there. Who? Okay, that... It was probably like in 1939 or something. 1939. <laughs> he lived in. Pennsylvania or something like that. But that's a good picture of him. What about what about Donald Trump with a shaved head and a goatee? That's a great <laughs> image. That's a really good. That's an AI image. If you guys haven't seen that, that's a really good one. And if Donald Trump would shave his head and grow a goatee, actually, Donald Trump, he would automatically. Not that he's not. He was win was anyway. he in the military? No, I think I'm pretty sure he dodged the draft or something like that. Because this is the picture they showed for his. Maybe it's an AI picture. I don't think he was in the military. I'm pretty sure the the thing was that the, he was a, a draft dodger or something. Oh, my God. Really? Or people tried to say he was. I don't know you if know, that's true. I wouldn't. Yeah, I guess maybe. Did you find a picture of him? No, I was trying to find the picture that maybe this was the one. I want to see it. Maybe. Well, I mean, it kind of looks like him. Does it? But maybe that's just a relative of his. Kind of. Kind of. It says ABC News. Maybe that he maybe he went to a like a military prep school. So it says, oh, Donald Trump's senior portrait for the New York Military Academy. See, he was in, in he, he went to. Yeah, he went to a military. Okay, school. So that was his senior portrait. So he didn't look bad either. <laughs> he looked like an idiot. He's he kind of looks around. dopey. He's not a good looking guy. That's for sure. I guess if you're going on looks between if you were going to put up trump to biden when they were younger biden, biden was, was probably a better looking good, guy but dude. biden is completely insane and in, in no i know and he's senile so he's out of it so out of it so you come back and do more shows with me sure i like it when you're on it's a good time <laughs> we ramble uh, we do ramble but that's the whole point right i think i don't know it was fun. All right. So thanks for tuning in, everybody. Don't forget to, to you can watch this episode. If you miss it, you can listen to it on every podcast platform or you can watch it uh, for free on Spotify or commercial free in the sub club at MikeyPodcast.com. Um, until Wednesday, stay safe, stay weird, and remember, question everything. See you. The Mikey Podcast.